So here we have another example using the Lime SDR together with the Pothos Dataflow programming software suite. Uh, this example builds on the previous two in that it combines the Bluetooth low energy receive and decode with RC main switch control. So once again we have an Intel Edison that's running a simple application that's generating Bluetooth low energy advertisement packets. These contain the die temperature of the Intel Edison's SOC. However, if we press this button on the side, what that does is it instructs the application to report the temperature as being 100 degrees C, regardless of, of what it actually is. Um, and over on the right hand side, we can see that we've again got a Brennan Stool 3600 uh, RC main switch, and then plugged into that, uh, we have a LAN. If we take a look at the uh, Pothos topology that's loaded, uh, we can see that we have an SDR source block um, that's configured for the Lime SDR, it tunes it to 2.426 GHz. The output of that is then fed through a block that performs DC removal. Um, that's then fed through an FIR filter um, and then from there into a frequency demodulation block and then a Bluetooth low energy decoder. Uh, the packets are then fed into uh, a Bluetooth low energy sensor monitor. What this block does is it's configured with uh, set points for activation and deactivation and decides whether the RC main switch should be turned on or off. So presently the activation level is 45 degrees C, deactivation is 44.9. Um, the output, um, of outputs from that block are fed into uh, a text display. So here we can see the current switch status, it says inactive. We can see the sensor value, 39 degrees C. Um, a set mode is also fed out of this into a Brennan Stool 3600 block that generates the codes necessary to turn the RC main switch on or off, the output of which is then fed into uh, an FIR filter and from there it goes into uh, an SDR sync block. Um, again this is configured for the Lime SDR, uh, what this does is uh, tune uh, the transmit uh, to 433.92 megahertz. Um, so we can see that currently um, the switch status is inactive, the temperature is 39.5, the set point the activation level uh, was 45, um, so that's not surprising. Now if I um, press the button on the side of the Edison, um, we should see that the temperature eventually spikes there we are, it's gone up to 100 degrees C uh, and the uh, current status uh, current status changed to active and if we uh, zoom out we should hopefully see that um, be able to see that the, uh, the light's been illuminated and uh, if I let go of this button at the side then probably be a short delay um, and we should see that that um, is turned off and um, and there we are, it's turned it off. And, um, and what's really cool about this demo is that um, we're operating on two completely different bands, 2.42 gigahertz, um, then 433 megahertz with a transmit out to uh, the RC main switch using two completely different systems as well. One is um, Bluetooth low energy. Um, the other one is a simple on-off keying uh, for the RC main switch. Um, so it's easy to see how uh, we can combine and support many different uh, wireless systems operating on different bands uh, using um, a single common piece of hardware, the Lime SDR.